how did you get into Comp Madden? Like, take me through that process up to, like, current day. Okay, so for me, it was, uh, you know, Madden 15, Madden 16 were kind of feel out years. When I say that was, uh, like, freshman, sophomore, junior year, somewhere in between there. And, uh, you know, starting up in, like, Madden 17 is, like, when they actually started full-blown MCS. I do remember watching the Madden 16 MCS tournament where Mo won. I was doing homework, and in the second tab of my laptop, I had that open. And I would just consistently go back and watch that, watch that, watch that, do a little homework, watch that, watch that, watch that. And I thought you're, it was you're the first dope. person to say that one's the first game. I, I think a lot of people, including myself, I remember watching on NFL Network Problem and Skimbo in 17. That's my introduction to it. So that's that's pretty cool. You actually saw it in 16. Yeah. So Skimbo and Mo, and you know that's we know that's kind of it was a rivalry, but you know it kind of obviously quieted down over the years. But yeah. you know. Um, they played a draft champions tournament, and I thought it was super cool being on that stage. I think Mo had his mom there watching, which is, like, super awesome. Yeah. And, you know, the capping and all that was super tough. But, you know, I was still, you know, didn't really know too much about it. And then Madden 17 came around, and they actually took off with the MCS, the Madden Championship Series. Uh, basically, uh, they would have these – they had quite a bit of tournaments. I think they had either had five or six tournaments, and, you know, they were spaced out correctly – and you know there's always some action going on so it started for me just watching a lot of mutt and then slowly but surely that turned into money games and or you know uh just people playing for you know a lot of money or just you know high level ladder games or something like that because the ladders were crazy in that year the money games were crazy and the tournaments were awesome so i remember specifically watching one time in spanish class i had my phone out hiding it underneath the book we all know that glitch um, yep. <laughs> so I had hit it under my Spanish book and I was watching this. Uh, I forgot what tournament it was. I think it was in December. And uh, I can't remember what tournament it was. But once again, it was Sirius Mo and Skimbo playing again. And uh, this time it was Madden at 17. And uh, it was a group stage game. So not that much mattered on it. But it was still a crazy game. Mo, I think I think Mo was, won, right? Yeah, Mo won again. <laughs> Mo was running this uh, Saints offense, and, you know, that yep. offense was awesome that year. And I kind of do miss, like, having all these unique playbooks. Now it's a lot of just bunch or trips, which, yeah. you know, I obviously run bunch. I think I'll run bunch every Madden year. But, you know, I do, like, those high-powered schemes were awesome to watch, and they were so great for Madden. But going back to the game, I th Mo ended up winning. But it was such a crazy game because Mo was losing, I think, like, almost the whole game until, like, the final 30 seconds, and he won. And I kind of just thought to myself, yeah, I want to be like these guys, the Kivs, the um, Moes, the Skimbos, the Hollywoods, uh, yeah. the Joels and the Drinnies. I, I saw them on the stage. Joel and Drinny didn't compete that year, but, like, I saw them quite a bit on the money games. And, you know, they, they had the youth movement. And, you know, I was young. Everyone who was young, and, like, they, they messed with the youth movement quite a bit. And they thought to themselves, you know, I'm young. I could be a part of it, too. So... That's where I kind of started turning up the competition. Um, I'm at in 16. I was honestly pretty good, but like I wasn't that good because I didn't play enough people. But I would go out and play a lot of wagers for coins. I wouldn't gamble money because just wasn't there yet. But I would wager <laughs> yeah. a lot of coins, watch a lot of Twitch. Joel would always beat my head in. But, you know, like someone like Gaming Powerhouse, I'd always beat him. And that was super funny because, you know, yeah. there was some toxic. so mad. <laughs> yeah, there's some toxicity there, but it was super funny. And, you know, he would get mad. And that's what it was about for me. I kind of like, I kind of just, I, I love, embrace that feeling of, you know, someone streaming. You, me and him were playing, someone streaming. And I, I throw a dot. I'd always just go in his chat, look in there, see what he said, see what the people said. I, uh, like, oh, that was a dot. Wow. I can't believe you had Yeah, that's, that's the funniest thing. <laughs> playing yeah. someone who rages and seeing the chat just troll them. Yeah, no, no, not even that, but, like, me playing Gaming Powerhouse, I'd always go into stream whenever I threw a dot. Obviously, see his reaction, but, like, I wanted to see the respect, like, if people respected me or they typed, wow, this kid's good, wow, that's a nice blitz, wow, that's a great dot. That's kind of the feeling I love to see. So, from there, I just stayed a lot on Twitch, got a couple friends. Uh, Henry was the first dude I met. We met through, like, this Instagram community. They Over there, they, like, uh, traded Mutt players, played Mutt coin games. And, okay all that type of stuff it was kind of crazy so shout out the instagram but community maybe one day i'll do a video about that or something so yeah. uh, you know we met there and then we kind of played on and off we didn't really mic up a lot this time i wasn't micing up enough and then like you know the pro players would probably always just mic up and that's how you really get better is when you mic up and you know discuss wait what zone was that 
oh wow i didn't know that played that that's really what i feel like where you get better at yeah and uh yeah so like i said the madden 17 mcs circuit is really what inspired me to get into it madden 18 so unfortunately madden 17 i was all right you know uh i think that a lot of people what playbooks were popular that year saints was popular it was, rams it was rams rams yeah. was pretty good yeah. yeah so those i was like i was just one of those twitch kids that running like you know all the common plays the meta plays yeah. but you know i was all right against it and then nickel blitz came out and i just had no chance because that blitz oh, was, I hate it. Nickel yeah. blitz was impossible to guard. yeah yeah oh, it was impossible man. to play against and then that's kind of where like i'm like you know what i'm kind of done with this for the year but you know i was still watch i still watch i still watch and then madden 18 i went full into it uh, madden 17 you had to be 18 older madden uh, 18 they blessed all of us who were you know 16 17 i was 17 at that time they made it to now you could have your you know parent go with you your guardian and you know that was a blessing that was this huge blessing because you know that one year you never know man if you miss that one year you you never know what could happen exactly. but due to that having that year uh was able to somewhat make a name for myself somewhat get some cash and definitely convince my parent parents that this is something i kind of want to do for you know at least now at least now and you know i got their full uh you know full blessing when they saw me playing and uh, the uh, Orlando venue versus Problem Right, the go to Madden. And, you know, they saw me only lose by three. So that was Madden Club Championship. In Madden 18, I played Problem 21-18. He won. It's a great game. And, you know, that feeling, uh, you know, I was sad. You know, I had tears after I lost. Because, you know, I was like 17 still. I was a little kid, man. And, you know, the craziest part is it was literally my dad, Shugs, shout out Shugs and VY were rooting for me to win. And literally everyone else was on problem as they should be, you know. But yeah, like, exactly. That's that's how I maintain. That's, that's, that's how when I, you. That's when you had the long hair. I remember that. Yeah, the long hair. That's <laughs> when I got the underdog mentality, man. I'm like, you know what, bro? I, I could care less if everyone's rooting for him. And like some people, they get intimidated by that. But that's when I loved it, and that's when I took into Madden 19, and you know, obviously won the belt, and then, you know, here we are today.